Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial series on top Java interview question. This video is about comparable and comparator. So let's get started. So agenda is the introduction. Then I will create comparable and comparator using Eclipse and will explain the difference between comparable and comparator. Okay. So comparator and comparables are used to sort the collection based on custom objects. So let's say you put some custom objects like employee in collection and you want to sort employee based on ID name so you can use comparator for that purpose so let's create a project in Eclipse so let's create a class employee so let's say we have an employee class inside com dot sorting package okay so let's add some properties to employee class private string name and private int id so let's say we want to sort this employee class based on name okay so we need to implement comparable for that okay and we need to override method from the comparable which is compared to method so this method will return integer value so it can be of uh, 0 minus 1 be it 0 positive or negative value so so let's compare the name first so we can return this dot name this dot name dot compare to Okay, compare to so this object let's give some name employee okay so we have to typecast this object so this object will be employee class object okay so this is employee okay so now uh, we can use e dot name so this will return a zero value when both strings are same like the current string and the employee object this employee object name is same then this will return zero this function will return zero so less create a test class let's give a name to class sorting test sorting test so in this class we will create a list of employees and we will sort based on name okay so let's create a main function okay so Let's create a list of employees equal to new array list okay let's import the package so let's create some employees object employee e1 equal to new employee so we don't have constructor employee class so let's create that to create of initialize objects so we can create one parameterized constructor as employee here let's pass string name and int id 
okay so this dot name equals to name this dot id equal to id okay so now let's create some objects let's give a name to object John and let's give a ID okay let's create three employee objects e2 and e3 ABC okay so let's set these objects into employee list e1 let's add e2 and e3 so now to sort this list we can use collections dot sort Okay, here we need to pass the list. So, let's pass the employee list. So, we can print it here. So, let's print it out. Okay, let's use streams for that to print it. Okay, so we can print the employee name and ID e dot okay so we don't have getter and setter for these fields so let's create getter and setter also okay Okay, done. So now we can access the values using the get method. So let's print the ID and name. So get name, yes. So let's test it out. okay so yep it is working so we have uh, the employees this are sorted based on name so the so let's give some values to id because the id is same so let's talk about something okay let's run it again yep yeah it is working so uh, so using comparable we can you we can sort any class based on the properties so here we are sorting based on name so same way we can use comparable for so in my next video I will explain about the comparator so same way I will create comparator and will explain the uh, difference of comparable and comparator and they are in using comparator we can do many type of sorting for the properties of the any custom classes so that i will explain my next video see you next video bye bye